If you don't know what Striker GG was, it was a statistics website for Omega Strikers. It was beloved by the community. We've always had CoreStrike.gg, but it's been kind of slow and lacking features. And that's when this guy Nodge rolled up and was like, yo, I can do better. And then he did. But Striker still had a lot of problems. It would go down for weeks at a time and then reappear and it'd do this for its entire lifespan. It wasn't always up, but when it was, it was nice, as it displayed a lot more features and information than what Core Strike was able to provide. But then, it got shut down one day, and the original developer wasn't going to maintain it anymore for a dying community. It was Jover. Between the months of November and January, I had pondered reaching out to Nodge to see if I could take over the project, but due to social fear, I did not. <laughs> I will live to regret this decision. So a couple months go by, and one day while I was stalking his GitHub again, I noticed that he created a new organization called Striker.gg and publicly released this site's source code. I was ecstatic. I rushed to my computer and got it set up locally, only to find out that the API was still closed and offline, and I needed that API. So I already done some digging before this, I already knew the API URL and the tokens to access it, so I figured I would just have to reverse engineer it like he did. That's easier said than done. Although, this was around the same time that I was updating my GTFO mod, so it got shelved while I worked on that. And classes, and life, and yada yada. Fast forward to a couple days ago, I was on stream with my buddy Tony, playing some Mega Strikers, when I remembered the project that I had abandoned, and I mentioned that if I sat down and reverse engineered the API, that I could bring Striker.gg back to life. Chatters were very amused, so after the stream I got to work. After a couple of hours of going at it, I revisited the StrikerGG GitHub to look through the original code when I realized that there was a new repository on the account. The Striker API. It was right there. <laughs> or at least to the public. I was shocked. I downloaded it immediately and got to work. Apparently it had actually been out since late February, but that's fine. I just cared that it was out at all, and I hastily got to work on this new project. I had brought up on stream that I had the idea to place it under my clarioncorp.net domain, as I saw it was fitting for an in-universe statistics database. Some days went by as I recolored the theme to green-ish, and then I decided to just make it gray because that green was really fucking ugly. Anyways, I fixed the links, I updated the assets, it was finally shaping up to be exactly what I had imagined. And here we are to this day. Stats.clarioncorp.net is online. Oh boy, it's fast. There's some weird 404s here and there, and they can usually just be fixed by clicking the button again or revisiting the page. I'll fix it later. I, I can't wait to add more stuff to this, and I hope you use it as much as I do. Also, did you know this little button gives you an overlay link for OBS that you can display your live ranks on stream? That's, that's pretty cool. I, I just saw this, I'm not gonna lie. Also, I'm adding this in post. Apparently, the API surfaced because someone reached out to Nodge and wanted to host the project. Sounds familiar. I only figured this one out after I finished the project, so I'm just gonna leave it up since the reboot's having problems anyways. I, I kind of feel bad for copying them, I guess, now. <laughs> but, like, I've been wanting to do this for months. And I put the work in already anyways. <laughs> so I hope if they're watching, they understand why I'm just going to leave it up. Uh, but thanks for doing that. OK, roll the edge. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this little story time type video. I enjoyed making it as well as the, the furnishings on the site. Uh, I do plan on doing more with the overall clarioncorp.net domain. So do keep a lookout for that as well as updates to the stats website. Uh, anyways, adios. <laughs>